SpaceX has purchased a new custom crane, almost identical to Franklin crane, but not quite, that will try and replace the former, and it has already arrived at the launch site, at least some parts of it. So what are the characteristics of the new crane and how does it compare to Franklin crane? Well, first of all, we have to start with the names. Franklin crane is a Lipha 11350, whereas the new crane is a Lipha 11000. And as you may or may not have guessed, in this case the bigger the number, the more power it has. Let's take a closer look at some of the most important technicalities. The Franken crane has a maximum load capacity of 1350 metric tons, whereas the LR11000, aka the new crane, can lift no more than 1000 metric tons, that is 350 tons less load capacity, a fact that could explain the 250 kilowatt difference in engine power between the two cranes. However, even though the new crane has a little bit less of power, it can rise as high as its predecessor, up to a staggering height of 220 meters above the ground thanks to the addition of an extended boom. Furthermore, the new LR11000 boasts a bigger radius than Franken Crane, a whole 20 meters more. The radius is the distance between the center of the machine's swing bearing and the center of the load hook. The LR11000 also has an increased central ballast, about 60 metric tons more than Franken Crane. So why would SpaceX want to buy a new crane that is more or less the same, but with a bit less lifting capacity? Well, there is in fact more to the story. The LR11000 is a more modern version, and it offers many more possible boom combinations than Franklin Crane does. It is also much easier to transport piece by piece, making the transport logistics much more economical. However, the biggest advantage that this crane offers to SpaceX, in my opinion, is its extreme compact design, which makes it the perfect crane for working in constricted areas where there is very little space to move. Right now Starbase is a bus with all sorts of daily activities and it can get very crowded with very little room left to move around, which means that this new crane is an ideal solution for SpaceX when it comes to moving large and heavy objects while at the same time occupying as little space as possible. Alright, with that I think I covered the main features of the new SpaceX crane. In case any crane experts are watching this video, you can let me know whether I forgot to mention something important. Other than that, I hope you could learn something new. I certainly did. It's weird, because before getting interested in SpaceX, I never really cared about cranes at all. And look at me now, trying to tell you how cool the new SpaceX crane is. Crazy times indeed.